the peace of Christ be within you. And also within you. Thank you. That's the best thing someone said to me all week long. May that peace reign in our hearts and may it impact who we are and how we operate. And that brings us to the time of worship, the time that we know as time, time for discovery. discovery. And in discovery, we are open to God's word. God's word is something that is in the world with us through the Holy Spirit. God's word can land in our hearts, and God's word is also found in a written form in the Bible. And we have been in the book of Isaiah, uh, a mighty prophet of the Old Testament. And this Sunday is our last Sunday with that mighty Isaiah. We have one more vision to go with Isaiah. In this vision, Isaiah is recollecting a people who are sad, people who are ashamed. They think that they're not worthy and they feel so small. Isaiah is depicting a people who feel like they're chained up and not free to be who they are fully called to be. You might say Isaiah is describing not just the people then, but other people, and they're kind of like our pigs. You remember how our pigs were flying around us earlier this fall? But for Advent, our pigs are kind of quiet. They're down on the ground. Some of them are penned up over here. Some of them are kind of hidden. Have you seen them around? They're a little bit quieter. They kind of point to the season of Advent. And in our Advent season here, it's a little quiet, it's a little dark, it's very humble, kind of like the manger. It's kind of humble and scratchy. Maybe if we experience that, our senses open to what God is really doing. So we're gonna celebrate that in our text and in our story today. Hey, we've got some more friends. Come on, come on in. We have a seat for you. Come on here, Jordan. So watch these guys and follow. So uh, in the story today, so Isaiah's gonna talk about some really sad situations. But within the story, come on in, guys. You can sit right here with these guys. Madeline will get you situated. So, come on up. You can sit with the kids. Let's go right here. So, I bet Maya and Ashley can help out. Jordan might have to sit with the baby. I don't know. <laughs> so, but make yourselves at home. So, for the story, we're gonna we're gonna think about. Um, those who might feel a little low, and then those who may need to feel some lifting up. And our Advent prayer is that the world can be a kinder place, and we think each one of us can play a part. So in the telling of the story today, some of you may find a part that you can play. So are we ready? Okay, let's hear the story today. We're reading from Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me and has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, 
to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations, because their shame was double and dishonor was proclaimed as their lot. Therefore, they shall possess a double portion. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be made known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being will exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as the garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you have a pig, you can put it, you can lift it up high if you have a pig. All right, lift it up high, spring up. The text says righteousness will spring up. Can you show me your arms too, way up high. Okay, we'll have a listen and repeat prayer. Dear God, Dear God, let goodness, let goodness and kindness, and kindness spring, up spring up where there is sadness. Where there is sadness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.